Hi, I'm Lalita from Let's Speak English and in today's video, I'm going to discuss IELTS vocabulary. Vocabulary that you require for speaking and sounding confident. So, a key part uh, of IELTS speaking is using a wide range of vocabulary including common adjectives. So the trouble is many of the students try to cram a lot of words a few days just before the test. This is not the way to do it. In your daily practice you need to start learning a few words, new words, step by step. Experiment and play with words. That is what I'm going to do here. I'll show you some synonyms for some common adjectives so you can start practicing and having fun today. So we'll look at less common ways of saying easy, difficult, good, bad, important and beautiful. So the adjectives for easy. So first of all, what does easy mean? Easy is an adjective as I said and it means needs something that needs less effort so we often talk about activities being easy for example a job a school subject or a hobby or maybe even a sport now here are some other ways of saying easy while talking about your job you can say my job is a breeze or uh, for me studying languages is effortless Math is a pushover. Playing the piano is a piece of cake for me. So those are the different synonyms that you can use to talk about something that is very easy. Now synonyms for difficult. Difficult is an adjective which means needing much effort. Similarly, we can talk about activities being difficult. Now here are some other ways of saying difficult. For example, my job is tough. This homework is a real struggle. For me, math is challenging. If something is difficult because it's unreasonable, we can say, well, it's a tall order or it's a lot to ask. Finishing my assignment by tomorrow is a tall order. Preparing for IELTS in just one week is a lot to ask. Now, if something is difficult and hard work, often physical, we can say it's grueling. Running around the park is grueling for me. I have a grueling schedule these days. I'm also, I'm so busy. So that is synonyms for difficult. Before I move on to the next synonym, I would like you to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, Let's Speak English. Now, synonyms for good. We often talk about things being good, for example, maybe a film, a concert, a book, a meal. Now, here are some ways of saying uh, good. For example, this film was spot on. I love the food here. It's so spot on. <laughs> the new look, the, sorry, the new book you recommended was sound. This presentation was nice. Well done. Now, synonyms for great. Great is an adjective which means very good. So we often use great for a lot of things such as people, things like films, concerts, books, meals, events like a, a wedding, a meeting, a party, etc. So notice these are all common topics and categories in IELTS speaking part 2. Now here are some other ways of saying great. Well, Tom Cruise was out of this world in Mission Impossible 4. He is an outstanding leader. That film was first rate. 
the salads in this restaurants are top notch the whole event was superb so there you have to go there are some those are some synonyms for great moving on synonyms for bad bad is an adjective which means something that is of low quality now in a similar way we use bad or really bad for uh, people things events and uh, you know we find out and also uh, we use this a lot in the part two topics now here are some other ways of saying bad or very bad the film was awful the food was shocking this book was terrible the party was a real letdown now vocabulary ielts vocabulary for important now what does important mean important means something that is of a significant value so we use important meaning of a significant value mainly for things like uh, films books letters emails or events like a meeting or a party so here are some other ways of saying important or very important the meeting is key i need to prepare it well this is a crucial email i need to send it right now this book is vital uh, for reading uh, for all language students this is a pivotal film in his career my daughter's wedding is of a paramount importance so no expenses spared so those are some synonyms for important or very important some vocabulary or synonyms for beautiful so we can use beautiful for things or people and here are some other ways of saying beautiful or really beautiful well this view is stunning the view takes your breath away she looks gorgeous in that dress this art this work of art is magnificent this is a nice photo it really catches your eye so there you have a lot of wonderful adjectives adjective phrases and synonyms to describe very common situations including people activities and events but remember a word of caution here don't cram learn these words over a period of time and put them into daily practice play around with them and have some fun experimenting and practicing repeat and then and make sentences which are true for you right so with that i come to the end of today's session and do not forget to hit that big fat like button and subscribe to my channel let's speak english thank you